Hey everybody, welcome back to Cutting Trails. So we're doing a install video for you guys. So what we're installing today, we're gonna be installing this hitch receiver right here on the back of our Razor Pro XP 2021. And I'm not sure if we're gonna have to modify it. Looks like it might fit just right and fit right through here. But I'm gonna show you how to get this plastic piece out goes all the way up to here without removing your rear bumper if you have the uh, rear bumper installed. It's a tight fit, but I already tested it, we can get it out. And the reason why I'm installing it is because uh, some of the mud holes you get stuck in, you know, this might just rip off. It is welded on pretty good, it's thick metal, but we uh, get stuck quite a bit with the stuff we do. Uh, here's a few examples of uh, Shane getting stuck and me getting stuck. So this is going to come out. Let me set you up here. So to get this out, let's see if I remember how to do this. A lot easier if you don't have the rear bumper installed. Just like that. It looks like we might have to maybe modify the plastic a little bit after we get this installed. We'll figure that out after this gets installed. So the next thing is to jack up the razor and remove these bolts right here. Put this in place and put the bolts back in. Check it before you start taking them off. Give these a little twist. Make sure they're not too uh, tensioned. I never. Looking pretty. It's curved right here for the bumper. Now we put it back together. So as you guys can see here, it's not lining up all the way. I gotta get down there. All right, to help out, I kind of nudged the tire with uh, my leg as I fed that in. Got it in all the way, straight. Now I just gotta get the nut on.
guys, they sent us longer bolts for these bottom here. I dug deep in the box to find them. So I put those on. We'll be good to go. The tools for this is a 10 millimeter. These bolts are uh, 18 millimeter and the nut on the back side. Also an 18. It's also, however, it depends on how you like it. This kind of jiggles around, I've noticed on my ATV, so I'm gonna put it like that. Keep it from jiggling too much. One thing I like about this one, it has plastic washers right there. Keep the vibration noise down. But, I mean, it's still gonna jiggle, but engine's loud enough and the radio's loud enough, you probably won't even hear it. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed watching me struggle bus with uh, the, the install on this. Please give us a like, a follow, share it. Uh, you know what you're getting yourself into. And uh, that'll help me get out of the mud. Alright, thanks for watching.